Hi, this is Tom Larson with Tech Training for Teachers. Today we're going to teach you how to turn your laptop's built-in webcam into a fully functioning document camera in just a few steps. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need one of these, the iPivo Mirror Camera. They are $39.99 for a six-pack, making each one cost about $7. I'll provide a link in the video description on where to purchase. The mirror cams arrive attached to their own erasable whiteboard. After removing the mirror cam from the board, fold up the corner flaps and snap to secure the bottom parts. Once assembled, you're ready to attach the mirror cam over the top of your computer's display screen. Next, head over to the IPVO website and download the free IPVO Visualizer software, which is available for Mac and PC. It's also available as a Chrome app, which is what we'll be using today. It should be pointed out, though, that both the Mac and Windows version of the software have a few more controls than the one shown here. Where users will find this most beneficial is likely in remote learning situations, so we'll show you how this will work. First, launch the Visualizer software. You'll probably need to make a few camera adjustments. These may include setting the resolution, zoom, and possibly the vertical and horizontal keystoning. Next, launch Google Meet. We'll go ahead and click the Meet link displayed in our Google Classroom. Before you join the Meet, turn off your webcam. Once in, click the Present Now icon. From the Present Options, choose a Window. From the resulting display of Running Application Window Choices, select IPVO Visualizer. Now, switch over to the program and start your lesson. Your students will hear and see everything you're doing. From what I've found, the IPVO Mirror Cam whiteboard works really well. Just be sure to use dry erase markers when using. Your writing should wipe right off with any cloth or dry marker eraser. Thanks for watching today's video tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also click the notification icon so you know when new content is posted.